sure. Hackers love a challenge. Guys, let's fire it up. Let's do this. Jump in, baby. The water's fine. Ready to rock it? We get to have all the fun. Hell yeah! Okay, everything's set up. Ready? Mommy smart car. All units, we're in pursuit of a vehicle. Fitting the description of the cyber driver car. I repeat, fitting the description of the cyber driver car. Totally doable. Uh, just remember to boost 
by dealing with the studio at all. It's okay, Josh. You know why? No, Satara. Why? We're gonna hit him where it giga hurts. <laughs> Started out as just a trickle, then boom. The numbers haven't stopped climbing. This is a good target. Yeah, but was it? You don't think? No, I mean, of course, look at the numbers, but I don't know, there's, I mean, what are we gonna do? You know, for real. Aim bigger. Hell yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Are you watching? <laughs> no. It's like sadtube.com. A channel for sad people, am I right? <laughs> you ask them. I mean, come on. Look at them. They've got their own goddamn branding. I've been following them since they accessed our server network. Jesus Christ, don't yell in my fucking ear. Use your inside voice, will ya? Anyways, it's all done other than the handshake. We're working with the human Izulu in case it gets to the collateral damage part of the relationship. They'll be discreet. Yo, come to see the magic happen? I'll let you watch while I do my thing. If you wanted magic, maybe you should be watching me work. Ho ho! Did Luke ride on Yoda's back? I think not. I was always more of a Lando man myself. Owned the Millennium Falcon, ran Cloud City, blew up the second Death Star. Killer mustache. Killer mustache. I'm more of a chewy guy myself. Rips off arms, handy with a hydro spanner, more hair than an 80s Greek porno. <laughs> I can see that. Do you want to? I still have some old tapes. Uh, I'm good. Marcus, those new on parasites got our recruitment video killed. Can you believe it? Oh, I believe it. Jimmy Siska's greatest fits? Uh, say it ain't so. What are we gonna do about it? <laughs> 
Come by the hackerspace when you have a minute, and we'll figure out the best way to pay them back. Hi. New Dawn wants to step into the ring with us. They got our recruitment video killed on all the big social media sites and threatened to sue anyone who hosts it. This is gonna cost us a lot of followers. DMCA takedown, annoying. This is worse than annoying. This is a declaration of war. I will not be censored. Hey, New Dawn's a fucking scam. <sighs> Rich people throwing away their money for some elitist circle jerk shit. This could be big for us. I mean, nobody's gonna take the side of those assholes unless they're already members. We are so gonna cornhole this fake-ass church. What's cornhole? Where the corn goes after you eat the corn, Josh. Oh. They don't like us using footage of their celebrity whore, Jimmy Siska. So let's start with him. He's our highest-profile spokesperson. But it's, it's Jimmy Siska. I mean... When I was a kid, I had the Siska glasses, the pop collar. I, I even knew every line to open wounds. Dude, me too. I even have the lunchbox. Nice. Mint condition. Nice. Just not, not Siska, okay? Just anyone but him. There's, Please. there's gotta be another way, all right? I don't. He's in town shooting Cyber Driver. I was just thinking maybe we could talk to him. Fuck up his relationship with New Dawn. He can go back to being less of a douchebag. Then I could go back to wearing my Cisco tees without feeling like one. Wait a minute. You use cornhole as a verb. That doesn't even make sense in the context of you. Okay, okay, we focus on Cisco. <laughs> New Dawn keeps blackmail records of their celebrity shills, right? We check out the local center. We just need to get in and dig up his file. Everybody in? In. I'll round up the locals and I'll meet you there. Let the cornholing begin. Hey, <laughs> you heard the man. <laughs> Cornhole. <laughs> For too long, predators have victimized the weak and the wounded under the guise of religion. The Church of the New Dawn is a scam. Yeah. Rank in the church is based on financial contribution. Loyalty is bought through blackmail and fear. They believe they are untouchable. That will soon change. DedSec will reveal the secrets and true purpose of New Dawn. You can help. Take up a mask and protest your local recruitment center. Let their leaders know what you think of them online. Join us as we send them a message. There's no more. DedSec will give you the truth. Do what you will. Am I gonna like it? I'm gonna say 30 to 1 odds against. Then I guess I better get it out the way. See you soon.
Marcus, have you looked at our follower count lately? Yeah, we're making waves. We've got to make people see Bloom for what it is, Marcus. The longer it takes, the more they rely on CTOS. They'll get used to things the way they are, and then DeadSec becomes a conspiracy theory fringe. It won't matter if what we're saying is true, if people don't want it to be. Yeah, but this is just the start. When we show them the shit that's brewing behind Bloom's doors, they'll join us in droves. Distracting enough for you? Yeah. You gonna go inside and take a peek, or...? Oh, yeah. Oh, and I wore my church clothes. Nice. Buy enlightenment! It only costs your life savings! All right, I'm heading in. I'll dig up what I can on Siska. We're about to go to battle with these fuckers. I need anything shady you can find. If we want to pick up followers, we need to generate some serious outrage. Can't we just make something up? If we get caught lying, everything else DedSec ever claimed will be called a lie. Don't worry. If they've shit the bed, I'll find the dirty sheets. And in comes Marcus with the classy metaphor. <laughs> I aim to please. Identify yourself. Give it up! That is the dumbest. TOS has verified your location. Police are on their way. Let's go! 
Spread out. Guys, I think we can use Siska as an ally. The man's in big trouble with the church. They're even planning an emergency audit. Audit? They're after his money. Of course they are. But this is something different. They wire themselves up to these bullshit electronic doohickeys and play psychiatrists with each other. It's cute. Siska's waiting for the auditor to show, but he's gonna get me instead. Are you serious? You're gonna wing it. So gonna wing it. First, I have to delay the real auditor. He's gonna get a call from Jimmy Siska. Yes, guys, you have to hear his Jimmy Siska impression. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't have time now. I'll be in touch. Hello? Jason, I heard you're coming for an audit today. Jimmy, right, right. I was just about to leave. How's it going? Not good. I think I ate one too many empanadas, my friend. My stomach is way too unstable for a session, if you catch my drift. Yeah, uh, yeah, I get you. Violent, violent diarrhea. Yes, I understand. Can we reschedule? Yeah, we're gonna have to. I took a handful of chewables. I'll give you a call back soon, I promise. We good? We're cool. You take care of yourself, Jimmy. Working on it.
release of confidential emails has had unexpected consequences for HMP Studios. Contents of the documents expose an ongoing contentious collaboration with Galilei, the company responsible for the expensive high-tech car featured in the studio's latest blockbuster, CyberDriver. The emails reveal that a studio executive referred to the car as a useless lemon and threatened legal action against the space company. However, following the hack, interest around the movie spiked, making CyberDriver the surprise hit of the year. Hey, Ghoul, what's up? I managed to snatch some new Dawn clothes for you. Gotta look the part, right? Nice. Thanks, man. No worries. Give him hell. Yes? Hi. I'm Jason Lowell. Huh. <laughs> I'm here for your audit. Okay, Jason Lowell. <laughs> I hear you're the best. Come on in. Thank you for the hospitality. Please. All right, uh, let's get started, huh? Yeah, my sources tell me that you've been having some doubts about the church. I want you to tell me about that. <laughs> doubts? Well, doubts is a, it's a strong word. <laughs> I'm not as inspired as I used to be. Jimmy, Jimmy, step up. Don't hide things from us. <sighs> You're right. Okay. Okay, there are rumors about this place where they take church members who are having issues, and they don't come back for a really long time, if they come back at all. I've heard these rumors, and guess what? They're just rumors. <laughs> but that's it? I'm not in trouble? For telling the truth? No. Thank you. I, I, I promise you will not regret this. Yeah, look, well, look, one last thing. I really need to get to the heart of this rumor, so do they say where this imaginary camp might be? I don't know. I don't know. I hope I never find out. Well, does it have a name? Uh, the, the, the Red Room. They called it the Red Room. Oh, yeah, man. And one last thing, man. Like, your last five movies have been just disappointing as shit, so act better. All right, keep your chin up. Peace! Proxy blocking's in full effect. This must be how all those bootleggers felt during Prohibition. All right. I have a new lead on how we can burn New Dawn, but I'm missing a key piece. Jimmy Siska is afraid of something called the Red Room. Jimmy Siska in the Red Room. The Red Room seems to be there. Sometimes they stay gone. If they're kidnapping people, this is potentially huge for us. This goes beyond my resources. Want me to reach out? Nah, I got this. Damn. Miranda speaking. Hi, it's me, Marcus. Marcus? All the way. How did you get my number? Right, I forgot. I need something. It's about New Dawn. Have you ever heard of the Red Room? Miranda? Texting you an address. Meet me there. I just need info.
What kind of trouble are you in? We're making trouble for the church. We who? Dead sec. I knew it. I have friends that would love to put dead sec behind bars. Like a good fight? Hey, so did you. Excuse me? Oh, I watched you go toe to toe with New Dawn back in the day, but hey, I get it. You a councilwoman now. No, 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 no. You don't get to pull that I sold out crap on me. These assholes wreck lives on a weekly basis. They went public with videos of my surgeries. But here's the thing. I don't give a shit. I got nothing to hide. But you're right. I am a councilwoman now. My hands are tied. That's why you asked me to meet you here. You need my help. Looks like you need mine. Plus, I finished what I start. First of all, don't mistake New Dawn for a church. They are a criminal organization. I pulled the records of all the properties they own in the Bay Area. There's one that just doesn't check out. Over there. Hmm. They have it marked as an educational center. Doors are locked. Nobody answers. Security comes and goes. Does that sound like an education center to you? Nah, no, it sounds like a re-education center. I'll stick around. Go see what you can find. Thanks, Miranda. <laughs>